Hi guys, it's Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I'm back to do a full-on review and demo for a hair extension company called abhair.com. I don't have the extensions in at the moment because I wanted to show you what they look like when they're packaged and then also apply them on my hair and show you my method that works best for me for applying it in my hair and styling it and then let you know my overall this thoughts. This is actually my first experience ever with hair extensions. I did get extensions that are super, super long. I believe they are 24 inches and I will put all the details for the hair and the type of hair that I got um, in the description bar down below as well as the link for the website so you can browse the, the products and they're really super affordable compared to a lot of other extension websites or extensions in general that I've ever seen and I've always been scared to try extension but when AB Hair contacted me I asked a fellow YouTuber friend Shanta Marie for some advice on what color to get, what length I should get, um, and then all the details about the name and the type of hair extension. So thank you Shanta for helping me because I, I was completely confused and um, unfamiliar with all the terminology. So the type of hair I got came in this packaging, super super long packaging because I got the 24 inch um, in length and I got the 100% human hair and I believe the type of hair I got were the Indian Remy hair and I got it in dark brown. On the website you will see it's fairly easy to navigate. Um, you can narrow down your selections by type of hair, by length, by color. Um, they also have wigs as well as hair extensions and then other hair and nail care uh, products and also fashion hair accessories. I will have the link down below if you want to browse the website as well as a coupon code just for you that they have provided to they me. They do also have synthetic hair, but I chose to get the human hair because my friend Shanta had said with human hair, you can style it just like you would your own so hair. So being that this is yeah. my first experience with hair extensions, I don't have anything really to compare it to, but I will share with you my overall thoughts about this whole first experience. So the particular set that I got came with nine wefts, and this is how long it is. As you can see, it's so long even compared to my own hair at the moment. So. I actually just found out what a weft was, I didn't know before, but it is actually whatever piece um, that comes with the set that attaches to different areas of your head. Now this is the longest piece, it has four clips, so all of the pieces or all of the wefts have these um, attached clips which they you press them from the outside they come undone and then you scoop them into your hair and then snap it back closed really easy I must to use say them. that the quality of the clips attached to the wefts is really amazing um, they don't budge I've used these several times and that's what's taken me so long to do this review because I didn't want to just try it one or two times because this is my first experience so I wanted to get a feel for how to use it and the best way to use it on my head and the best way to style it before I could do the thorough review. So I chose not to use the four piece because it is super big. Like if I even try to put it around my whole head, it's like it's too long and I didn't choose to use that because it just would be way too thick and heavy on my head with all of the webs. And then I left out one piece. So I chose to use seven pieces right here and then two are the single ones four single ones two on one side and two on the other and I'll show you that in a minute and then on the bottom of my hair the closest to the nape of my neck I will be using two of the double clips and I will attach them these are actually attached to each other which is also another trick I learned from Shanta she actually has a video showing this method of um, attaching the wefts to each other so it adds volume without having so many um, on top in different sections that way you're just only essentially clipping one weft to your and head. I chose to use the three clips um, further up but not too too high up but I'll show you how I apply them and my hair right now is it's not really ombre it's like a peekaboo color underneath that's getting really brassy now um, but 
most of my hair is like looks black but I had it dyed dark brown so I had gotten the dark brown because I feel like it blends well with the two colors I have going on in my hair. And there's also a tag that's attached to the extensions that gives you instructions on how to prepare it before you use it by combing and detangling it, by washing, the, in, washing them in lukewarm water, in moisturizing shampoo, and then just a reminder to properly upkeep with it so that it will last you a long time. So that is very important before you use it. So for myself, it took me a while to find a way that I liked using it best. In the beginning, I put all of them in. It was way too heavy on my head. I felt like it was just too much going on. It was very voluminous and very long. However, it just felt very, very unnatural because it's just like I could feel all of the clips all over my head. I just felt like I had way too many clips in my head. So eventually I came to the process of just using the ones that I had mentioned. And then also in the beginning, as far as styling it, I was trying to style it by having it all in my head and then trying to curl it that way. But I found myself tugging too hard that the extensions would slide down because my hair keep in mind my hair is super super thin um, and it's just not as thick as it used to be when I was younger so I found it being very difficult to curl it while the extensions were in my head so I tried to curl the extensions on their own which I have and when they come in the package they're actually very very straight but these I have already for time purposes for the video. I had already curled these um, and combed them out so that they look like just very natural wavy curls. And then before filming, I have curled my hair a little bit as well and teased like certain areas that I wanted to be teased. So if you have thin hair like me, it's really important to tease wherever you apply the extensions and um, I highly recommend curling it separately and then applying the extensions in. So let's get on with the demo. So I'm taking the two clips and these are two wefts that are attached to each other just by clipping it as you would in your head but to each other. So now I'm going to show you how I apply the first section. So I'm going to go as close to the nape of my neck as I can leaving some hair at the bottom and then clipping the rest up. Then from the inside weft, I'm going to try to show you how I apply this. I'm going to, on each side, snap it in place. And these are actually, I would say, several inches longer than my hair now. So it does give me quite a bit of length than I already have. I'm going to go up a little bit higher than I was at the bottom of my neck, a few inches up, but not too, too high. I'm going to take the three clip and open it up and apply this Looks like with the next section in and then I'm going to let down the rest of my hair and I'm going to take the four pieces these are four singles which I attach two to one and then I'm going to put one on each side of I'm going to slide up any area. I'm going to put that in like so and then hide it with my hair. I'm going to just take my teasing comb. I've already teased up up here, but I'm just going to kind of comb it back over. And as you can see, it is so much more fuller than it was just before I added it in. So this is what it looks like. It blends really well with 
um, what layers that I do have. I, I do need a haircut. Um, but as you can see, it's so long. And if I put them all in the back, this is what it looks like. And you really can't tell by looking at it um, that I have it. My fear was that my hair is so thin that you'd be able to see where the webs are. Um, but as long as you play around with it um, and make sure that it's secure, and it feels comfortable, then I think you should be good. I hope you guys found this helpful. I will leave the link to the site down below and the details on the extensions that I got, as well as the coupon code. Let me know if you have ever tried EB hair extensions before and what you think. I know some of you have commented in some videos where I was testing it out and noticed. You didn't notice that I was wearing extensions, but you commented that um, you liked my hair or something in regards to my hair. So it was really nice to see um, some positive feedback without telling anybody yet that I had extensions in my hair during those times. And in all honesty, you guys know that I'm a busy mom and I don't even wear makeup every day and having extensions is not very practical for my lifestyle. Um, but I think if I was to use this on a daily basis for whatever reason, if I was in a different scenario, um, it's really easy. easy. Easy to maintain easy to put in, um, especially using the technique that I use as far as curling it before applying it. I hope it. you guys found this helpful. I want to thank avhair.com again for sending me these extensions to review and please let me know if you guys have any questions at all and I will see you in my next video. Bye!